Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now in today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at a program called Windows 10 Auto Dark Mode. Now if you can't already tell from the name, what this program does is it will automatically shift Windows 10 from light mode to dark mode at sunset or during a certain time of day which you can manually specify. This is very similar to a feature that we have in macOS and iOS. Both of those operating systems have a light mode and dark mode and you can also set those systems up to change to dark mode at sunset or at a certain time of day so this is essentially bringing that feature over to windows 10 which is pretty awesome this reminds me of another program that we took a look at recently called win dynamic desktop which brings the dynamic desktop feature from mac os where the wallpaper will gradually change throughout the day uh, bringing that feature over to Windows 10. So both of these applications would work really well together, but today we're gonna focus on Windows 10 Auto Dark Mode. So I'll have this link down below. It is hosted over on GitHub. It is open source. You can see all of the source code right here, which is pretty cool. And if we scroll down the page, uh, you can obviously read about it. You can read what features it has. And then you can get down here to the download link. So if you click on this, it'll take you over to the releases page. And the latest version as of this video is version 3.0.1, uh, which was released on July 6th of this year. So we're gonna download this. It is a setup executable. And just to show you guys, I am running the latest version of Windows 10, the October 2020 update, which is uh, version 20H2. So there you go. And we're going to run the setup executable right here and see what this program is all about. So it's a pretty simple installation process. The default install directory is in app data local. So we're just going to go with that and we're going to launch the program. So the first thing you'll notice, and I was trying this off camera and I wasn't really able to figure out why this is happening, but you can see that the program doesn't really display correctly. It's much bluer over here on the left side. It just, yeah, it just doesn't really display properly and we can, uh, go out of this and go back into it and I mean you can still use the program so you can check enable automatic theme switching so you can use custom hours or you can uh, have it use your location to determine when the sun sets and that will uh, need location permission which I have off what we're gonna do is uh, set custom hours now I noticed that uh, if you have like if we go and uncheck 12 hour clock you'll see that now uh, you know, we're going to get 24 hour time here. If you notice previously when I had 12 hour clock enabled, you can only set dark mode um, at a PM time. So like right now it's 11.31 AM. If I wanted to set it to be dark mode at 11.32 AM, I couldn't do that. What I'd have to do is turn off tw the 12 hour clock and then come back here. And uh, let's now make it 11, let's set it to dark mode at 11.32. So we'll hit apply. And you'll see that it shifts the taskbar to light mode uh, because I had the taskbar set as dark mode originally. So right now it's, it's at light mode and we can open up, let's say we open up settings here and we're just gonna wait for it to change over to 11.32. We can actually open up the clock here. So in a couple of seconds here, in about 10 seconds, it should change to dark mode and we'll see that happen here. So five, four, three, two, one, and there we go. Check that out. Automatically changes right over to dark mode across the entire system. So everything that we have open, the settings application, the taskbar, the calendar and clock uh, little widget over here, um, all changed over to dark mode. And you can see that the uh, auto dark mode application itself is kind of, I mean, this entire area is now translucent as you can see so yeah it definitely I mean I, I've kind of seen that the the program itself um, does not I mean it just doesn't display as it is on this page here you know it definitely looks uh, a little bit wonky compared to the images here but it still works which is great I mean you can see yeah here's file explorer it's dark mode like I said the taskbar start menu everything now this isn't the only thing that the program can do though there's a lot uh, of customization options if we go under apps here for example you'll see that we've got apps systems edge legacy and Microsoft Office and this allows you to change the light and dark mode settings for these components 
individually. So for Windows apps, for example, maybe you want those to be always light. Okay, so we can change that. And now even though that we have dark mode enabled or it's past our dark mode set time, we can still have Windows applications be light. Uh, say you want the system, so that's going to be things like the taskbar and the start menu, you want those to always be light. You can change that as well, and then vice versa, you can maybe have it always dark even when light mode is applied. And this is the way that I typically have it, though these two components right here are really the only two things that will change when you switch between light mode and dark mode. So if you want to really use this program, yes, you can change these options here uh, to where apps is always light and system is always dark, but then nothing will really change uh, at your set time or when the sun goes down. So maybe you want to have the taskbar and start menu always be in dark mode, but you want the apps to dynamically switch between light mode and dark mode when you know that set time comes up or when the sun sets. So we'll just set both of these back to adapt a system for this video. And this accent color for taskbar will only apply uh, when the dark mode theme is applied because you see we're back in light mode here and uh, it just has the, the standard white taskbar. But if I were to go back and change it, so it's 1136 right now, let's change it to 1137 to switch to dark mode. And uh, so it'll change right here. It's still pretty cool that you can customize these components individually. You can also do the same with Edge here, though this is only for the legacy version of Edge, which uh, we have the Chromium-based version here uh, that comes pre-installed with this version of Windows 10. So this doesn't really apply to us. And you can customize Microsoft Office as well. I don't even have that installed, but if you did, uh, you could have it also switch between light and dark mode uh, with your custom settings. The developers also recommend Dark Reader, which is a browser extension for Chrome, Firefox, and the new Microsoft Edge since it is Chromium based. This is not developed by the same people that made this Windows program. Uh, I, I have heard of this program before, uh, and I know some people who, who use it. And what it does is, as it kind of implies, it will allow you to change uh, lighter web pages to darker, you know, by changing white to grays and blacks. So here's Google, for example. Usually all of this uh, black and gray space is white. Uh, so this extension changes that for you, and it works uh, with this program because it reacts to your Windows 10 system theme. So you could have it set to uh, only be active when your system is set to dark mode, and then have this program automatically change into dark mode at your set time time or at sunset, and then dark reader on your web browser will change as well. So that's pretty awesome. You can even do the same thing with your wallpaper or your Windows theme. Now, if you didn't want to use, I mean, like I mentioned, Win Dynamic Desktop is a great tool to use with this program because you can use a dynamic desktop and then have it change automatically throughout the day to a darker image, you know, as it approaches nighttime. But if you didn't want to do that, you could manually specify between two different wallpapers to use uh, when the light theme is applied and when the dark theme is applied. Or you could have Windows themes set up. So you could change this right here to Windows theme and then you can apply a dedicated theme for light mode and a dedicated theme for dark mode. Now you obviously have to create a theme first by opening up the themes settings here. So yeah, lots of customizability here, uh, but we've also got some settings that we can change. I already mentioned the 12 hour clock uh, and this you know, when you have this enabled, which it is enabled by default, it only lets you change to dark mode at a PM time. So if you worked during the night, for example, and slept during the day, you probably wouldn't really want to have 12 hour clock enabled because you, you would probably want to have these reversed and have the dark mode applied um, during the morning hours and the light mode applied during the evening hours. Uh, if you were sleeping during the day. The author accepts donations uh, since the, yeah, this program is free and it is open source. So if you would like to uh, support the author and uh, future development of this program, you can donate via PayPal right here. Uh, so here is his PayPal link. I will have this link down below as well if any of you guys want to donate uh, to the author. So there it is. And then finally, you've got about information. So this is going to show obviously the version number, the author's name, and uh, the GitHub, Twitter, uh, PayPal, and Telegram links. And you can check for updates right here. So yeah, guys, there you have it. That is a brief demonstration of auto dark mode for Windows 10. Definitely a pretty cool application. I definitely uh, check it out if you're slightly interested 
interested in kind of getting that Mac OS and iOS like feature on Windows 10. And it's awesome to see that we have developers out there that are working on programs like this. Guys, if you enjoyed this episode, if you want to see more like it, definitely be sure to give this one a thumbs up. Be sure to get subscribed down below and turn on channel notifications if you haven't already to get notified whenever I upload a new video, which I do multiple times every single week on this channel. And as always, guys, I want to thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.